Cooler Masters headquarters. They have several new products here, mostly OLEDs. They focus on a new technology called 3D HP technology. Uh, it's We'll, we'll be able to also target different core, like specifically, uh, uh huh, you did right on the CPU core. Oh, okay. So this one has actually four lips. This are the access to. So then the V4. How much is that one able to dissipate? So this is the road map. Uh, the road how Cooler Master went to 3D heat pipes. Uh, they start from the V8 GTS. Yeah, I remember this monster. Master 8 Maker 8. I don't remember that. That was the first in the paper chamber. Uh, I remember that, I have tested that, Master Air, this was a uh, good uh, cooler. cooler, but it's huge, as you can see guys, it's huge, yeah, yeah. and check the difference in footprint between this and this one, this is the first uh, V4 Alpha, the first cooler to use uh, 3D heat pipes, that's, that's a real difference, look, look. Almost half the size. I'm eager to test that to see the cooling differences and the capabilities. Cooler Master told me that the heating, the 3D heat pipes can uh, handle up to 400 watts of thermal power. Guys, 400 watts of thermal power is too much. <laughs> it's, I think, a little bit lower than the top that Intel uh, CPUs can achieve fully unlocked. Uh, I have uh, Powernetics to measure the power consumption uh, of CPUs. 400 watts are a lot. We'll see if we can handle so much. MW Gold Sport series. Okay. Yeah,